Bro, the energy of rap line on this is insane. The first BTS music producer reacts of the year? Hell yeah! That was supposed to come out a lot manlier. But happy new year, everybody, if you, uh, you, you, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. BTS disease, we're gonna look at it from a music production perspective. <laughs> yes, we are. By the way, we're going ham, turkey, and sandwiches with the mayo and a little bit of lettuce, thin sliced tomato on this channel right now. Because this might be sad news for some of you, but for most of you, I don't know if it's good news or bad news, it just is what it is. I'm not posting any more music on this channel. But I do have a new channel where I'll be posting all my music. You can go subscribe to it if you're gonna listen to the music. Because if you're not going to listen to the music that I post, you're just screwing up the algorithm, and uh, we don't need that. But we would love to keep you here. But all right, disease. Let's look at it from a music production perspective. Happy New Year, did I say that already? And most importantly, put your request for what BTS song you want me to react to next. Yes, we're bringing that back, because on this channel, it's going to be all reactions and all production stuff. So there's going to be production videos and mostly music producer reacts. So I'm pretty excited for that. I told you we're going ham turkey on this channel with mayonnaise and a little bit of lettuce with some thin cut tomatoes. We're going ham. Oh, this is the best song I've ever heard in my life. I'm being, uh, I'm being weird. I'm probably gonna edit that out. You could edit that out, right? Well, I would, but- Alright, thanks. Okay, starting off, first of all, we're starting off with the J-Hope verse. Sign me up. <laughs> love this dude's energy, love this dude's swag. But what happened there in the beginning is we kind of had the beat filtered out a little bit. Where we were getting a lot of the low end of the beat, so it sounded kind of muffled and it kind of brightened up. It did like, you know, a filter effect, so it started off like... <laughs> And like the sound brightened up and when it got to the peak brightness that's when the verse started that's just a cool little way to introduce the song you know you got like these little like guitar strats playing with just these pretty funky drum set i guess it's been a minute since i said that word but yeah that was a uh, that was a cool little intro there oh and the bass line by the way i love the way the bass line dipped down it was like mm. Like, it kind of like pitched down at the tail end of it, and I really like that. There's even like this like weird synth in the background. It's kind of like has that like high pitch sine wave. I don't know. It's just like. It's really wacky right now. I like it. Okay. All right, I love the R&B infusions here. I love how they're jumping from vocalist to vocalist here. So I like that. And the way they're doing that now is they kind of changed it. They had like the chords change over to, to not so much guitars, but the Rhodes, the electric guitar, the little snap. Instead of those hard-hitting snare drums during the verse that made it more hip-hop, you know, lighter drums here. Kind of just makes it more R&B-ish, you know what I mean? By the way, I've, I've noticed I have a bad habit of looking at this damn screen because the screen, like, pops out on my camera and I've been looking at the screen. I gotta look at the lens. The lens is the people. The people are the lens! <laughs> This is hard. <laughs> and you got the the scratches in between the vocals, the the chopped up vocals, you know, broken up by the scratches. You like all that type of stuff. That really reminds me of just some like early mid 90s, probably late 90s, I would say, type of music style there when it came to like pop, somewhat hip hop fusion a little bit so that's kind of the sound they're tapping into here bts always like goes on to like 
whatever genre they want. You know, there's enough variety of talent within the whole group that they could pretty much attack any genre they want, and that's pretty cool. Can't wait for their country songs whenever that comes, or or their opera songs, or their their, their take on some Mozart classics. Okay, they're saying this is gotcha. Okay. It's like a weird rumbling in the background Cause some atmosphere Yeah, their flow and energy on this song is so, so fire It's so like comforting Cause you know, it sounds like, I don't know It just sounds old school and that's not usually the type of music that, you know, I like listen to, but it reminds me of like being a little kid, you know what I mean? So that's that's pretty cool. I was just, you know, kind of comforting like that. But they have like a newish, a new wave type of flair to it as well. Cause you heard like the background vocals with like the auto tune and they were like all stacked up a little bit, like right here. I'm ill. Oh, I can't get over those guitars. Alright, my boy Sugar, but before that, there was uh, just some nice stacked vocals on RM's voice there, just like punching in, so it sounds like more of him at once, but... I like how he was like singing those dubs. You know what I mean? They weren't just like straight rapping the dubs. So dubs, background vocals, basically, if I'm like, come through the club, you look like a chub, whatever that means. I hope that's not an offensive word. I hope I didn't just ruin my career. I don't think it is. I got, oh, hold on, I gotta Google it. A thick bodied European river fish with gray, green back and white underpart. Okay, so I think we're good with that. <laughs> so if I'm like, come through the club, looking like a chub, like the dubs, that what happened was come to the club looking like a chub and they're all stacked up that that's the best way i could really describe it but he is like dub chub you know what i mean he's like singing the the dubs instead of just straight rapping them so it just gives them more life you know what i mean Energy of rap line on this is insane. I love how the bass line dropped out for a second, and what was really the main focus besides the main melody that da 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 da. But in the background, you heard ah ah ah, like that, like those harmonies in the background of the vocals was kind of just providing the the chord structure there. But then the bass line comes in now, and all the and this is just really nice. Very soft drums, just to build up. That's hard. strings in the background too halftime yo Jimin Jim is getting even better with his vocals man he's getting even better with them there's always been like that balance between singing from your your diaphragm you know what I mean what you're supposed to do but when you sing in a high range it's really hard not to make them sound nasally you know what i mean like i sing on some of my songs but it's mostly i don't know how to sing for my diaphragm i'm not a singer you know i'm more of a rapper than a singer but i sing on songs but anyways i don't know he's just really gets a lot of air out with those high notes yes he has an advantage because he sings high to begin with but these are sounding like way more full these vocals sound like they are not nasally sounding and it's really pleasant to listen to And Jin, of course, sounds really good too, man. 
underrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you went from halftime where it's like like that half the tempo and now we are picking up the pace again we're not quite there to the pace we were just yet but we're, we're warming up so we're doing this little four to the floor rhythm boom 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 with the with the bass drums mm. Ooh, that little drum fill this is different. All right, so now they just basically have the drums. They, this is just more bass heavy. I think there's some brass going on here. But instead of that, like, regular, like, kind of, like, break beat that they were doing before for most of the song, now it's kind of, like, four to the floor. With the, But there's still the, the snare drums incorporated in the kick. So, boom, pa, boom, pa. And it's, I don't know, it's just making it a little bit more dancey, I guess. I prefer the drum beat that they had going on in the beginning more. I could have done without this drum choice here, but I like how the song is growing though in that aspect. You know what I mean? Anything that doesn't scream out lazy production, I'm a fan of. Bro, the old school vibes are crazy. Those guitars are beautiful. Okay. Okay. They kind of just pitched it down there at the end. All right, BTS. I'm feeling that one. I really like the guitars. I like that 90s feel that they had going on there. And that's the thing about BTS. And that's why I'm going to continue to react to them. You know what I mean? Because you just don't know what the hell you're going to get when you click on these. You don't know what genre it's going to be. You don't know what style. You don't even know what member is going to show up <laughs> for the song. It might be all of them. It might be two of them. It might be one of them. You don't know. And I love that about them. I love the whole mystery box aspect of it all. So, uh, yeah, let me know what BTS song is going to be next. Again, if you sincerely enjoy my music, there's a channel for that now. It's called Joey Nato Music. I'll put the link in the description below. And in the pinned comment, I'll put the link for the new EP that's coming out tomorrow. So this EP that I have, I did it with my boy June Jizzle. We made the entire EP in eight hours. He made all the beats completely from scratch in four hours time. And then he sent them over to me and I had to make four songs to all four of those beats in four hours. It's very hard to do, but we pulled it off. It's called 4 for 4 EP, you know, 4 for 4, like Wendy's. I don't know if you like Wendy's, but yeah. So yeah, I'll put the pre-save link for that in the pinned comment below. Hope you guys are having an amazing new year. If you're not yet, it's going to be an amazing new year. So get ready. Appreciate you guys watching. Lucky to have you here. Not up. I used to pour the money in the watches on my wrist what? Nowadays I became a little careless hey. I really thought I couldn't be touched, I'm fearless nah. Nowadays I became a little careless oh.